Now we'll take a look at some head and neck muscles. Now we'll look at some head and neck muscles. First we have the epicranius, which has three parts to it. Here's the frontalis muscle or frontal belly of the epicranius. This fibrous thick band connecting the two muscle bellies is called the gallia aponeurotica. And that leads us to a belly over the occipital bone called the occipitalis, or you can call it the occipital belly of the epicranius. Next, we have a muscle that's located over the temporal bone, so this is called the temporalis. Next, we have a muscle over the bridge of the nose, so this muscle is called the nasalis. Then we have a muscle going around the eye, this is called the orbicularis oculi. Don't confuse this muscle with the one that's around the mouth, which is called the orbicularis oris. Next, we have a muscle above the lip, so this is called levator labii superioris. Next, we have a muscle over the zygomatic bone, so this is called the zygomaticus. It does have a minor and a major, but you can't really see it on this model. Next, we have a muscle going to the angle of the mouth, so this is called depressor anguli oris. And then we have a muscle underneath the lip, and this is called the depressor labii inferioris. Next, we have a muscle over the chin, and this muscle is called the mentalis. Now we have some muscles of mastication. This first muscle is the masseter. On this model, if I were to go forward and deep, I should be able to see the buccinator, but this model does not have that muscle, so we have to go to this other model. So here's the masseter. Forward and deep to it, here is the buccinator. Then we can also see this slender muscle going across. This is called the risorius. And I can show you the risorius on this model going right across here. We look underneath the chin, we can see the mylohyoid muscle right here. And then the slender muscle going across it is the digastric muscle. This model doesn't have very good neck muscle, so we're going to go to the other model for that. So the first muscle that I'm going to show you right here is called the omohyoid. You can see a muscle belly here, and then also a muscle belly right down here. It has both a superior and inferior muscle belly. This next muscle is the sternohyoid. And this muscle down here, we could only see a sliver of it, is the sternothyroid. Then we have one more over here, and this is the thyrohyoid. So omohyoid. sternohyoid, sternothyroid, and thyrohyoid.
Next, we usually would have a very superficial muscle called the platysma over the sternocleidomastoid that we would have to pull back, but on the plastic model, we don't have that. So here is the sternocleidomastoid, or SCM, starting from behind the ear and wrapping around the front of the neck. Next, we have the scalene muscles, and the scalene muscles are named from where they're located. The most anterior one is called the scalenus anterior. Next, scalenus medius, and last, scalenus posterior. We go to the posterior aspect we can see some more muscles. First one, right here, is the levator scapulae. This one right here is the splenius capitis. Right here we can see the rhomboid minor, and then here we can see part of the trapezius muscle. So levator scapulae, splenius capitis, rhomboid minor, and trapezius.